everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christy, if you're new here. Um, today we're doing a very chill type vlog. I didn't want to put too much planning into this one, just kind of wanted to explore a little bit this afternoon, but we are going to be in the Lincoln Park neighborhood. So this video shall take place in Lincoln Park. It is kind of cold, but humid in Chicago. As much as I say that I love Chicago summer, I don't actually love it, I guess, because the weather sucks. <laughs> it's just been really humid lately, so that's why I look kind of crazy and I'm wearing a sweatshirt because it's actually kind of cold out. But today we're in Lincoln Park. I am going to get my nails done at my favorite spot in Lincoln Park, Z Nails, Zen Nails. You would think that after getting my nails done there for literally years, I would know if it's Z Nails or Zen Nails. I'm not sure. I just went and had a quick little breakfast brunch situation. I went to the Stray Hen, which I had never been to before. And it was a really cute restaurant. Like it was very open, very airy. Service was great. The food was phenomenal. I got the South of 80, which is their uh, biscuits and gravy meal. I wanted to pick something from their signature dishes, but I had just had chilaquiles a few days ago. So I don't know why like a Hispanic breakfast wasn't really speaking to me today. So I got the biscuits and gravy because I'm a sucker for biscuits and gravy. So it was phenomenal. It tasted so good. It was huge, so I couldn't finish it. It was definitely big enough for two people to share. It's a huge sausage patty in between these fluffy biscuits and it was delicious, but it was a lot. So I couldn't finish it, but it was super good. I got fruit with it and scrambled eggs and it was delish. And it has a really nice atmosphere in there. They have a really nice bar you can sit at and they were playing Doug on the TV, which I was like, Doug. I haven't seen Doug in so long. So I was like watching that zoning out as I ate my food. It is almost time for my nail appointment. So I just parked, found a free street parking. Um, so now I'm gonna go get my nails done, see what me and my girl Joyce are gonna do. I think I'm gonna get a design today. I had multicolor. Let me see if you can, it'll, yeah. I had multicolor. I'm literally missing my gel polish on these two fingers. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so I think we're gonna do a fun little design today. So I'm excited. And then I'm thinking after we do nails, we can just wander around a little bit. Maybe check out a coffee shop. Um, maybe go over to like a little shopping area. I don't know, just wander around, see what we can get into today. I think it'll be really fun. So let's go get my nails done. got my nails done. Look at how cute they look. Do you see the design? I got it on my thumb and my ring finger. So cute. So right now I'm sitting outside of Halligan's and little backstory. I used to work in this area and my coworkers and I would come to this bar almost every Friday. They have the cheapest drinks that I've ever seen in Chicago. Like their happy hour is prime time. Some nights of the week you can get a beer for like $2. It's kind of crazy. This bar actually has a really cool history too. During prohibition times, the mob actually ran booze through this bar. So they actually have like a secret door in Halligan's that connects to hook and ladder, the bar next door. It is really cool. So you guys should definitely check it out if you're in Lincoln Park. Plus again, the deals on the drinks cannot be beat. It's a very classic dive bar feel, which I love. I don't need the fancy stuff. I like the hole in the walls. <laughs> also just like look how beautiful the houses are here. It's like actually kind of crazy. Lincoln Park has the prettiest houses. Okay, we're on the move now. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I kind of have an awkward amount of time because I have to pick bar shop from work at four. So I'm thinking maybe we walk Oz Park a little bit and then get a coffee because I'm really tired. <laughs> Sorry for the construction noises in the back, but I think since the last time I've been here, I think that they've cleaned her off a little bit. Like I think they removed the weathering and the tarnish. You can actually see the details in her face and her dress color is way more clear. And look how red her slippers are. So cute. It looks so good. I wonder if the other statues have been cleaned off. Let's go check it out. took 
some thumbnail pictures in Oz Park, which is always as cringe as you would think it would be. <laughs> um, I'm even awkward doing this now. I don't like to draw attention to myself, so vlogging in public, taking pictures in public, still working on it, still working on the confidence. But yeah, since this is kind of a spontaneous vlog, I have a feeling I'm not gonna be just going to local places today because I'm gonna be honest, I really want a La Colum draft latte. So I think we're gonna head to a different part of Lincoln Park and get a coffee and walk around kind of the shopping area because I didn't show much of that in my other Lincoln Park video, which I will link that above, but I wanna show you guys a little something different. So let's go over to that area. draft latte from La Colum. You guys, these are just truly phenomenal. I don't know what they put in this to make it taste so good. Crack cocaine, I don't know, it's addicting. They're so good. Um, I'm just now walking by this. Isn't Daily Harvest that smoothie brand that everyone's always hawking on Instagram? Like they send you the smoothie bowls and you just have to mix them up. Oh my God, it is. It's like an actual cafe of their smoothies. Oh, they have food too. I think they just opened. Oh God, somebody's trying to get me in. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, good, how are you? Oh God, I hope they didn't hear me say that. You guys, that's so embarrassing. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, there's like a ton of shopping in this area, as you can see. We have a Lush on the corner, Aesop, a cute little furniture store, Warby Parker, Marine Lair. There's a Rothy's store. We have Allbirds and Outdoor Voices. I mean, there's just a ton of shopping in this area. I, however, am a woman on a mission because as you guys know, I'm very food motivated. And since I'm in this area, I'm gonna go to Summer House Santa Monica, which I believe is a chain. I think it's in some cities. But weirdly, like their food doesn't really impress me that much, but their cookies are divine. Like they have the best cookies ever. I'll show you. Look at the AC blowing my hair. Feel like Beyonce. <laughs> I'll turn it down a little because that's probably also all you can hear is the AC going. But I don't know what it is in Chicago or if everywhere is like this, but it always reaches a point in the afternoon where it's the hottest point of the day, which is kind of weird to me because I mean, I don't know. I don't, what do I know about weather? I'm saying that's weird to me, like I should know, but I guess I really don't know anything about weather. <laughs> okay, I'm just rambling on. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that I guess it's weird to me that it's the hottest point at like four o'clock in Chicago. Is that like that everywhere? Shouldn't it be hot at like 1 p.m., 2 p.m.? This, this is the stupidest conversation I've ever had. <laughs> Anyway, let me get some hand sanitizer. We're gonna taste test one of the cookies that I just got at Summer House Santa Monica. Um, that place is always popping. And I will be honest with you guys because y'all are my friends, but it's really only popping because it has a very nice Instagrammable aesthetic inside. It's beautiful inside. Like it is beautiful, light and airy, everything you'd want for your Instagram pictures and for like a nice aesthetic, but I've only eaten there once and I just was not impressed by the food. I actually thought that the food was like not good for the prices. Again, the food was fine. Like it's fine. It's worth it to go there and like have a drink and have a little something to eat just cause it is so beautiful in there. But I felt like the food was really subpar in my humblest of opinions. But I also feel like the place is really hyped. Like just now I was there, it's three o'clock, it's packed. There's like people outside, like it's a whole thing. Their cookies on the other hand, 
are absolutely worth it. At least the last time I had them, they were. I haven't had them in a while. It's probably been a couple years, but I got one for me. I got one for Barish. I got us the sea salt chocolate chip ones because we really like that sweet salty combo. They're delicious. Let me get a good close up. They are literally massive cookies. It's literally huge. Oh, lost a piece of salt. Let's do a little taste test. Meow. I don't know why I meowed. Okay. Okay. I'm making a mess. Oh my God. Mm hmm I think the reason these are so good is because they have the chewy inside and the crispy outside. And honestly, they're very reminiscent to the chocolate chip cookies my sister makes, which are the best ones on this planet. Which by the way, that's not a biased opinion. That's just facts. But I really do think that that's why I like these so much because the texture is very similar to the one she makes. She does sea salt on hers and the taste is very similar to that. So I think that's why I love these so much. My other favorite at Summer House Santa Monica is their M&M cookie, which they didn't have any of, but those are freaking delicious. So I think that's it for my little Lincoln Park vlog. This is a very low key vlog, so I hope it was enjoyable for you guys to watch. As always, I really appreciate you guys being here. I really appreciate you watching my videos. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment below. All of those things really do help me out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.